Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optibotomous Committee with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Hot Toys MMS 370 of the Scarlet Witch from Captain America Civil War. For the package, much like all the other Civil War figures, you've got a really cool battle scene. But obviously with this one, Scarlet Witch is in the foreground. You can see behind her is Hawkeye. On one side of the package, you can see that the image wraps around with Vision right there. Whereas on the opposite side, that same image wraps around, but this time you have the Black Panther. On the back of the package, you got a really cool image of Iron Man, as well as on the bottom, the various warnings and contact information for Hot Toys. And then when you lift up the slip sleeve cover, on the back of the inner package, you have the cast and crew responsible for making the figure. And then on the front, you have the open window that fully showcases the figure, as well as all of her accessories. But for the packaging on her, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get her out here and see how cool she actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the Scarlet Witch from Captain America Civil War opened up and out of her packaging. Now, this is actually the third version of Scarlet Witch that we've gotten. The first being the Age of Ultron version. And then the second was, was a Sideshow exclusive version that had her looking as she did at the end of Age of Ultron. More on her uh, new Avengers sort of get up. And the Civil War version here being the third, takes that new Avenger look and obviously updates it, but gives it a little bit more of an elegant sort of look and feel. And in my personal opinion, this is the best version of Scarlet Witch that we've gotten to date. Now starting off first with her accessories, you actually do get a little bit more than we got with the previous versions. Starting off first, in addition to the two relaxed hands that are currently on her, and as you can see, these don't have any kind of magic effect on them. By that I mean what they did with the additional hands here. As you can see, much like those previously released versions, the fingers have been done in this kind of translucent plastic that has you know, some actual red coloring to sort of replicate her magic effect, which I think looks terrific. I absolutely love that on the original, and I'm glad that they carried it over here. Still great detail. I don't know how well that's coming across, but you can st uh, still see her fingernails and wrinkles and things. And then you can also see that she's still wearing her very character-specific and accurate rings on the various fingers and such. Obviously, this is a completely different hand sculpt, uh, as the previous one didn't have the glove on there. Now, the uh, Sideshow version, I'm not 100% certain if that had gloves. I never got that one, but this is definitely a different hand sculpt than what uh, the first Age of Ultron version had. Then you also get two more left hands that are in her twisted, contorted, spell casting sort of pose. I absolutely love that and just added a lot of personality. But you can see again, you got the nice ring detail on here. And then these ones also have the red translucent plastic here for the fingertip. You can see that down here you have that skin tone, which still looks good. But you got the nice gloves and everything. So you do get two additional left hands in this gesturing sort of pose. And you also get one final right hand that uh, is, is a little bit different. Well, I guess, let me, let, no, it's actually the same as this one. So I, I should have showed this off, but you do have a left and right hand that's sculpted in this kind of position. I'm trying to see if they're slightly different now. They, they do look like they're the same, but again, great gesturing sort of look. It really comes in handy with some of her other accessories, which are the actual magic effects themselves. Now, these are reused from the previous version, but uh, one thing that I'm noticing uh, is that the color is, a, well, this is the opposite one, uh, but you can see that they are sculpted in the same way but they're a different color this is a little bit more pink this is still a pinkish color but has a little bit more red in it see this is a lot more pale of a look I, I do prefer the new one I think it looks a lot nicer now, sometimes reused parts actually just still work but one thing that is new are these pieces these are these uh, magic effects as well but they're much smaller as you can see I mean you had a very large one right here and these are very small almost as if she's just doing something right here as opposed to having a a more emanating effect throughout the whole thing this is a much more localized kind of effect so these are new pieces and i love these as well because it's like she can put her hands together and uh, to to do this you just kind of contort them around the different areas so you, you do something like that i'm just kind of wedging it in here right now just to give you kind of the idea of how it looks so i mean you can really have her hands like this as if she's just kind of bringing her hands together and you know, concocting some magical sort of spells which i think is great also with all hot toy figures you do get a couple extra wrist pegs in case anything happens to the ones that are currently on the figure but you also do get this little tiny ant-man and i'm loving how every new release from civil war is giving us a new 
little Ant-Man figure in a different pose. This looks really good, very small and scales very nicely with the previous ones. But you can see that he's in uh, more of a running pose. Uh, you can see that he does have a little display base. Uh, you got the little foot right here. You just kind of wedge that in, give that a little bit of a push uh, or, or drop it. You, you can drop it too. Just throw it on the ground um you, you just kind of wedge that in there and it it well i keep throwing it on the ground what's going on all right so you just kind of wedge that in there like so and it actually you can see that it sticks on there fairly well so uh, the actual uh, base right here is a little bit set in where the foot can fit in there and you can get a really nice uh, display with them if, if i can again do it properly so you do it like that so it does nicely sit in there so a uh, great additional little piece i I love that that's in there and like i said i love how all these uh, civil war figures are coming with one and then the last piece is the display stand you got that nice civil war uh, logo because she was team cap you got the shield there in the back you got the uh, scarlet witch civil war and then her little kind of like energy effect right there which is really nice and uh, one thing that is different is uh, as you can see this is just the little uh, crotch grab this is the whole waist grabbing one that came with the uh, age of ultron version but you can see the bases are the same you just got a different logo and everything but uh, i do actually like that they went away with this now this would have been a very awkward one to have with that original one because she was wearing a skirt so i don't mind that they use this but i think that this is a much better one i mean you can if, if you wanted to and if you had both of them you can just remove that and swap that out so you can uh, mix and match and do whatever you want to obviously they're your toys so uh whatever you're gonna want to do do it enjoy it and have fun with it because that's the whole point that's what this collecting kind of hobby is all about having fun now, coming in to take a closer look at the Scarlet Witch, I'm absolutely blown away by this figure. Now, the head sculpt is the same from what I can tell to the previous release version, but that's not a bad thing really at all, because in my opinion, the likeness is spot on. They did do some changes in terms of the paint and the hair color that really do much more accurately capture how Elizabeth Olsen looked in the film. Now, bringing in the previous version, you can see basically same head sculpt, but the paint is a lot more toned down. The previous one had, you know, obviously that uh, dark kind of coloring around the eyes, darker lipstick, things like that. But the sculpting is identical. And then you can see that the hair is much nicer. It's less, I guess, wavy and then a much lighter color, but you can see, I mean, I, I have this kind of like all frizzed out just to kind of look frizzy, but both do a great job of capturing that likeness. Really intense look. I, I do like the more neutral look on her because it gives her a sense of you know, like concentration as she's using her magical powers, which is great. One thing that I also really do like, I, I guess I should have mentioned this, uh, she does come with another accessory, which is a actual metal chain necklace. Now, one thing about the previous version, uh, these were just like cloth necklaces or, or rope, I guess. So they were always kind of flopping all over the place. Uh, she doesn't want to stand, stand, drunk lady. So they were kind of always moving around and getting kind of shifted and not really looking all that natural on the body. What I love about the metal chain here, though, is especially here, like around the uh, clavicle, you can see how it drapes over it. It has a much more natural sort of look to it. That's a huge improvement over the necklaces that she previously came with. Coming down a little bit further to kind of highlight her jacket, this is another aspect that just in terms of her overall look changed a little. It's a lot more longer of a jacket, but great detail throughout the entire thing. Nice kind of tailoring, stitching marks and everything. All very, very sharp looking. And then you come around here to the front, you got the nice zipper detail. It doesn't actually function, but it's a real nice added detail. And then underneath here, you can see like her, I guess, corset or something. I'm not 100% sure. But you can also see that the sides here have these little buttons. That kind of keeps uh, the waist area kind of pinched in and keeps, you know, the, the outer section here if you want to flare those out really a cool look for uh, just coming back a little bit so I, I do like how that you can uh, detach those if you really want to but I, I don't have any desire to really do that I guess again you can see that her hands have just the standard flesh coloring on here but still great detail with the gloves and the rings come down to take a look at her paint uh, well the, the whole back section like I said you got this whole section I, I don't necessarily think there's a wiring underneath there but uh, it does have a little rigid sort of feel to it so you can kind of flare it out a little bit I do kind of wish that there was like a wire that would go through there just to make it so you can pose out a little bit better but I think you can manipulate it pretty decently and get it out like so 
come down to her pants and which does look really very nice good stitching work and molded I, I guess because it's cloth it's not molded but it's like designed really cool around here one thing that I would point out though is you can see that the knees kind of are exposed it's almost like she's wearing knee pads and then when you bend it uh, it, it kind of shows that kind of separation obviously when you uh, do move it it does stretch it out but you can just kind of tuck it down here towards her uh, boot or pull it up here and then over time it does flatten out which is nice but I do want to mention that you can see kind of her knees there it would be a, a good use of that you know seamless body if they did use that but I don't think it really looks all that bad and it kind of goes along with the uh, little wrinkles down here and then you come down to the boots great detail molded throughout the entire thing you can see that they're a little bit higher on her shin and then you got the boot section right down here which is a separate piece so it allows you to get a pretty decent range of articulation with it which I'll cover here in a bit but nice molded detail there overall great looking suit very accurate to how she looked in the uh, specifically the airport scene but in general a very very cool look for the scarlet witch just by itself now for our articulation uh, it is the exact same as far as i can tell as the previously released versions of scarlet witch so you do have the uh, head here which is on a separate ball joint one other little thing that i want to point out that does confirm to me that the face sculpt is the same is that she does have earrings on her ears it's a little bit harder to see but you can totally see them here and then she also has it on the opposite side both here at the top section and the lower lobe which is identical to the uh, age of ultron one so again that kind of just confirms that it is the same head sculpt but you do have that range of motion there. The neck and the upper body here is a softer rubber material, so you can't actually bend the neck down right at the actual neck itself. Uh, the shoulders here do rotate. Uh, you do have a uh, kind of futz with them a little bit to get them to extend to their full range of motion, mostly in just rotating the uh, the jacket around and such. Uh, she does rotate at the upper part of the bicep. She does have two joints here at the elbow. The wrists rotate very nicely, and then they have the uh, a joint right there that allows you to move it forward and back. Uh, she does have an upper diaphragm joint as well as a waist rotation, so you get a nice range of motion with that. The uh, corset here is a separate piece, so you can rotate that very nicely and get a good range of motion with it uh, the legs do get a little bit limited in terms of uh, the hip area here mostly because of the tightness of the uh, material here so you don't get a very far range of motion and i don't want to overdo it because that could potentially damage the material so just be careful as you're doing it but you can see that it rotates or flexes in and out very nicely rotates here at the upper part of the thigh uh, she does have two joints here at the knee but again in doing so it does stretch it so that when you bring it back it does bunch up a little bit but over time it will flatten out now, the boots here, as I talked about, you have uh, two separate sections that make up the boot, but it is cut right here, so you can rotate that, and then you can flex it forward and back, and it still looks like it's one piece, which I think they did a terrific job with it. I think that these ones actually achieved the look that the actual costume had, and it still has a very functional sort of appeal. So real good level of articulation, get some great poses with her still. All in all, the, the overall package for this figure, I, I think surpasses anything, like I said, that we've gotten previously. Overall, though, I absolutely love the way that this figure turned out. And I think that Hot Toys has done an amazing job of recreating the look that she had in Civil War. Yes, the head sculpt is the same that we previously got. However, I don't really think of that as a negative whatsoever because in my opinion, it's an absolute perfect likeness. What I also like that they did is they updated it. And by that, I mean removing that dark makeup that she had from Age of Ultron and lightening her hair up. Obviously giving it a much more accurate representation to how she looked in Civil War than what she did in Age of Ultron. The costume, I think, really does look terrific. Everything on it, from the uh, tailoring to the stitching, everything comes out really very nice. The only part that I would really like to see improved would probably be the knees. As I've talked about before, I really think that a nice seamless body would fix a lot of those issues. But as it is, as you can tell, it's not very noticeable. I just want to mention it to you so that you guys are aware. And then the accessories are really terrific on here. I love what they did with the new necklace. That fits so much better than the previous uh, rope ones that uh, came out with the older version. The inclusion of the smaller you know, magic effects, I absolutely love because you can create kind of a pose like that. And obviously, the little Ant-Man is a wonderful touch. Now, obviously, she's going to be in the other movies and her costume will probably change. But right now, this is the best. And without question, I would absolutely recommend picking this up. 
So all that being said, if you'd like to add Scarlet Witch to your collection, she is available right now at Sideshow Collectibles. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Sideshow where you can check out availability on her, as well as the rest of the wide range of Hot Toys, Captain America, Civil War figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video, to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you never miss out on a future review of mine. Or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click on the little bell right below this video, and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, be excellent to each other.